Thousands of beagles now have a chance at a new life all across the country, including right here in Tampa Bay. They were all rescued from a breeding facility in Virginia while they were waiting to be used for research. Nearly two dozen of them, though, arrived at local shelters where they're now going to be evaluated and prepared to be adopted. And Fox 13's Janae Lewis is live on this one in our newsroom. Hi there, Janae. This kind of experimental testing, is it very common for these dogs? It's actually very common, Mark, since the FDA requires drugs are tested on animals now. There's new legislation working through the House and Senate to end that mandate. Animal activists say it would have likely saved these beagles from the abuse they endured. We have some very exciting visitors coming to our facility. It's a new day and a new beginning for these beagles. 15 arrived at the Humane Society of Tampa Bay and another 18 in Sarasota today. They were among the 4,000 saved from a facility in Virginia that was breeding dogs for research. Federal officials filed a lawsuit against the company running it, alleging several violations. Government inspectors found nursing mothers were denied food. The food they were given had maggots and mold, and several died from cold exposure. Advocates say beagles are chosen for testing because of their trusting nature. Their size, it's a very, it's their medium-sized dogs, and they're just extremely friendly, sweet dogs. So unfortunately, they're very easy dogs to endure a lot of the experimentation. The Humane Society of the United States agreed to help remove the beagles. The animals range from puppies to early adults. So this will be an adjustment. For some, it's going to be easier than others. These guys haven't really been exposed to living like a normal dog, like in a yard or going for a walk or on a leash and all that stuff. So that's all stuff that they're going to learn as they kind of go through somebody's house. All reasons animal advocates are fighting to end the FDA animal testing mandate. There's no reason for this volume of animals to be used in laboratory tests except for this mandated testing. It's only because of the mandate that we're running through millions of animals a year in the United States. It's why groups like Animal Wellness Action are pushing lawmakers to pass the FDA Modernization Act that would eliminate that as a requirement. It would not pr prohibit animal testing, but it would really, it would really give a kick in the pants to FDA to embrace alternative test methods that are better and faster. Thinking of the animals like these rescued beagles that suffer in the process, fortunate to be among those spared this time. It's so difficult to see what they've endured, but it's also absolutely touching and why we're all here to change their lives. Now, the FDA Modernization Act was introduced late last year. Advocates are encouraging people to contact their lawmakers to help it move forward. As for those animals that arrive in our area today, they're currently going through the intake process, and some of them will be ready for adoption early next week. Knowing our viewers, I know they'll respond and uh, they'll get some um, wonderful homes out of this. Janae, thanks very much.